Guys, I'm so glad we're together on this one. This report is really, really interesting because not only was it a Bigfoot sighting, it was also accompanied by a UFO. Yeah. Yeah, this woman was so scared, she didn't even call us for two days. I mean, like, she didn't even want to leave the house. Yes, and from what I understand, not only was the light seen, but there are sounds still coming from that area. We need to get down there and find out just exactly what's going on. This is damn peculiar. Son of a bitch, is this Bigfoot or is this alien or is this Bigfoot working with the aliens? I mean... That's a good point, bro. But that's what we're going to find out. So guys, here we go. Oh, hell, hell yeah! yeah. Thank you. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hello, Sarah. Pleasure to meet you. Oh. How you doing, Sarah? Good. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I just want some answers. This thing scared the hell out of me. Sarah, can you tell us exactly what happened? Oh, yeah. The last few weeks, I've been hearing all kinds of weird noises out here. And then two days ago, I was out here feeding my dog, and everything suddenly got really quiet. Damn. After that, I, I heard the most unbelievable sound. It gave me goosebumps. But what was it? I don't know. It, it sounded like a, a low-pitched growl. I froze. I literally couldn't move. But I managed to turn my head, and there, in the distance, I saw a shadowy figure on the, at the edge of the woods. It scared the hell out of me. This is damn peculiar. Go on. Then a bright light came down out of nowhere, and shown on the whole area and, and then all of a sudden it just shot up straight into the air that is damn peculiar are you guys talking about that damn bigfoot you saw it you're damn right i did i was out here cutting wood when something caught my eye go on and the damn thing must have been 10 feet tall you gotta be shitting us made a noise that i never want to hear again this new information is key to this investigation. Sarah, if it's okay with you, we'd like to set up for a night investigation right here tonight. Thanks, guys. I just hope you can get to the bottom of this. Sarah's talking about bright lights, weird sounds. I, I don't know what the hell to think. Hey guys, we, I think we should go this way. We'll break up and go in different directions, okay? All right, Ron, you take the upper edge of the woods. Jerry, you take the perimeter of the woods up there. Dave and I will go in here, but we'll all converge back here. But please stay in radio contact. Radio contact. Radio contact. Got radio it. contact. Got it. Normally, I don't like breaking up the team, but we need to cover more area here, and we need to get in those woods and find out what the hell's going on. Go for Ron. Ron, we hear you. What's happening? All right, I'm at the edge of the woods. I'm ready to head in there. It's pretty quiet. I'm not liking this. Hey, Ron, stay in contact. Don't go too far or we'll lose contact here on these walkie-talkies. Ron, be careful. Roger that. It got really quiet in here. It's so much so, it's like you can hear a pin drop. Eric! I know, look at it. It's unbelievable. Go for Jerry. Go for Jerry. Jerry, go. Jerry, go. Dave just found a footprint by the edge of the woods that Ron went into. It's huge and it's fresh. Copy that. Copy that. Go for Ron. Go for Ron. I, I keep hearing this, this strange sound coming from... Oh my God. No. Ronnie, come in. Ronnie, Ronnie, where are you? Go for Jerry. Go for Eric. Go for Dave. What the hell? I don't know where he is. I, don't, I, have, I, no know, I have no idea where he is. Huh, what the whoa, hell? Whoa! 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 What the hell was that? That, 
That was really weird. Run, come in, run. Run. Radio's out. Guys, guys, listen, listen. Come in, Ron. Ron, come in. Dave, this is good, man. We need to get down there and find out what's going on. Let's go, let's go. I can't find the guys. Man, this investigation took a really bad turn now. In like 35 years, that is the most peculiar sound I have ever heard. It was shocking. Shocking! Is there any sign of Ron? Guys, we're in a bad spot, man. We gotta get out of here. We're in a bad spot right now. If you can hear me, meet me down at the edge of the woods. Ronnie, Ronnie, Dave, Dave, oh, it's good to see you guys, Eric. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Well, thank God, Ron. What the hell happened, guys? You won't believe what happened. It, it touched my head. What did? What did? Oh, I don't know, Jerry. Maybe Bigfoot. After I lost contact with you guys, I saw this crazy light. Yeah, we saw it too. And then, something touched my head, and there it was. You saw it? I can't tell you what it was, but I can tell you it wasn't human. Ronnie, thank God you're okay, but guess what? I think it had a crush on you. Well, it has been a while since I've been in a serious relationship. Tonight, we almost lost one of the team members, but thank God we found Ron. This just goes to show you how tricky these creatures can really be. And apparently, very frisky. 